Nearly 12 12,000 women are diagnosed with cervical cancer every year, and even at its early stages, the treatment is a radical hysterectomy. But a Circle of Health reporter Denise DeDore tells us new research is giving women more options and renewed hope. Tina Payne has never missed a routine pap smear or a pelvic exam. It's why she was able to catch cervical cancer at an early stage. Yet the gold standard treatment, a radical hysterectomy, gave her pause. We were asking questions all the time, just trying to make sure it was the right fit for us. The procedure entails removing the uterus, the cervix, and more. What makes a radical hysterectomy radical is uh, removing portions of the upper vagina and parametrial tissue, which are the surrounding supporting structures to the uterus. Dr. Melissa Hodi, a gynecology oncologist with Kaiser Permanente Riverside says, the quality of life scores were lower in radical hysterectomy patients versus women who underwent the simple procedure. Patients reported, uh, you know, decreased sexual function, pleasure, arousal, desire, and a decreased quality of life overall. Now the newly published SHAPE trial finds a cancer recurrence rates after three years in both the simple and radical hysterectomy patients were very similar, less than 3% in both groups. Therefore, the study could conclude that a simple hysterectomy was not inferior to a radical hysterectomy. Dr. Hodeeb says, talk to your doctor, because in some cases, a radical hysterectomy may be the best chance for a cure. While this research wasn't around when Tina had her surgery, she's glad she didn't miss a screening, and she's grateful for her outcome. I'm cancer-free. Uh, two and a half years with the decision that um, that we made, and my family and I are just truly blessed. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel, and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.